Hello, welcome back. So today I had a request on my Instagram that someone wanted a look using this specific palette and you wanted a blue eyeshadow look. So, popcorn it is. Okay, so I actually have tested this out on my channel a couple of times. Um, well, once, but I've got another look coming up with this palette anyway, um, if it's not already up already. I need to play with this again. It's just time. But yeah, I'm gonna play with some blues in this palette. I've come up with these swatches, what I wanna use from this palette. Um, it's gonna be like a smoky blue, hopefully. Maybe a halo eye and maybe a bit of glitter. I don't know, haven't made my mind up. So yeah, I'm just gonna get on with it. Hit subscribe if you like these. Get ready with me's to go absolutely nowhere. And yeah, let's go. Next door, have decided to do some gardening, which is the perfect time for me because I'm filming and it's really annoying. So if I skip on talking, that is why. But I'm just using the Beauty Bay eyeshadow primer. Okay, so the first shade I am dipping in is Caramel Corn. This is the palette, by the way, if you haven't seen it already. I will link the first video using this palette when I first tested it out. Can't remember what kind of look I did. I must have included a blue. How can you not go into this blue with this palette? With Caramel Corn, I'm just going to place it onto the lid just to map out where and what I want to do with this eye look. I've kind of decided um, I'm going for a halo eye, so I'll probably just do a regular eyeshadow shape. Nothing too extreme. Also, put it on the little lash line a bit there as well. So yeah, I was just looking through my palettes of what I want to try out today and this is, I decided to use this palette on the actual same day as filming it. So it's quite spontaneous, but I was just looking through my collection. I'm just thinking like, I will not, there's just no way of me panning all these palettes. I've just realized, I've come to realization that there's just no way I'm gonna pan all these palettes. Um, by the time I'm 100, these palettes will still be full of it. <laughs> I actually want to complete an actual eyeshadow palette, but I just don't think I'm capable of doing that with the collection I've got going on. Like, how satisfying would it be just to pan a whole eyeshadow palette? But then you need that commitment to do that, which <laughs> I don't have because I have a problem. I can't stop buying eyeshadow palettes, especially our heart resolution. So it's less like, mm. um, I'm just going to go in my MAC 286 brush and just move out these edges and then I'm gonna go with a lighter shade to blend it further towards my brown. I am now gonna go in corn and just try to blend out caramel corn further. Let's see if this will do the job. This is a really beige. I'm just thinking this palette it needs some kind of red because you know popcorn, traditional popcorn, I don't know. I'm just thinking it needs a red or a yellow for a popcorn just to like match I don't know. I just thought it would go. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in lights down, which is a really dark, deep blue. I'm just gonna pat that on directly onto the lid at both corners of the eye. And then also run it on the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna create like a halo because there's a particular blue I wanna use in the shade and it's called Poppin. This is a beautiful blue, this is. I'll conceal it in the middle, probably about that much, you don't need a lot. And I'm just gonna spread it out with a brush evenly, just patting it. Okay, so, popping. Time for some popping, the pop. And you know what, I don't think this even needs wetting. So I'll just wet it just in case. I'm gonna go in my vanilla and coconut spray, I have Revolution Fixing Spray. Um, pop popping on the brush. That shade is gorge. It's gorge. Okay, so for my inner corner, I'm gonna go in Snack Heart. 
There isn't many inner corner shades in this palette, I've realised. Um, I don't know whether to put a glitter on. I can't make mind up. Shall I see what a glitter would look like in the inner corner? It's kind of cute. Should I put some glitter glue on? I'm so tempted to put a bit on the lid. Should we just fluff a bit on? Oh. That looks kind of pretty. And I didn't put any glitter glue on. I've just like chucked it on there. That's kind of pretty. It's amazing what glitter can do. It just transform the look. And now I've got glitter everywhere. <laughs> Right, I'm just gonna do the exact same on the other side, repeat it, and then I can do our makeup. The rest of our makeup, yeah. Okay, so considering I've already got specks of glitter on my face, I might as well go with the Unicorn Serum Primer, because, oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Can't get used to this. It's just gone everywhere in my Makeup drawer, just unicorn serum everywhere. <laughs> foundation, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I'm trying to use this up, um, but it just doesn't seem to. If you dare start drilling. I'm gonna be so mad. Concealer, I Heart Revolution, Heartbreakers, Shea Custard. But yeah, um, I'd love to know if you are enjoying these makeup looks. What is that? Makeup looks using all these I Heart Revolution palettes, or would you prefer to see other palettes? Uh, I don't know. I just really have fun playing with these palettes, and I do get a lot of use out of them. Surprisingly enough, I get more use out of I Heart Revolution palettes than my really high-end expensive palettes like Huda Beauty Naughty Nude. I have not used that since my last Five Looks One Palette Challenge. That just says it all. Um, I don't know why but I just gravitate to these palettes like... I don't know. Is anyone the same? Like you have really expensive palettes in your collection but you just go for the drugstore tacky ones and I don't know why but I just prefer it. <laughs> I have more fun with it. Um, but yeah, do let me know if you do enjoy seeing these makeup looks, just seeing how to use the palette and just give you some ideas like how to wear the palette. Doing a cream contour, this is a So Su Suzanne Jackson in shade Cool. This just blends in like butter. Just blends so quick. I'm just gonna go over that a bit with the uh, Hula Benefit. Just a bit. And I feel like I want to go with, what kind of blush should I go with? Um, made by Mitchell Peach Sugar. Oh, yeah. Let's double this R in. I don't know what I said there. Let's double this in. These, you do not need a lot because I always forget how pigmented they are. It's such a nice blush, but 
I don't know whether it's too pink for this one. I should have sticked with a peach blush. So I will go in with Life's a Peach L'Oreal Paris. I just think it'll go more. I'm gonna go in my, what is this? Primark Toffee Lip Liner. And then I'm gonna go in my W7 Exposed. No, W7, I think it's a satin lipstick, but in the shade Divine. Yeah, shade Divine. I think it's too red, so I will pass it down a bit with the foundation. And then go with the Primark Uptown Girl. Go just to get that gloss still. Okay, that is the better lipstick. You know what? I haven't even done a highlighter. Highlighter, I'm gonna use two. Number seven radiance cream highlighter and the get the pretty started. What's up highlighter? This cream highlighter is so nice from number seven. Like, look at that. It's such a nice glow. <clears throat> and I will just go over it the benefit. I have Revolution Heartbreakers Radiance Powder. I just need to go over into my lids, T zone. Okay, so I don't know where to put lashes on. Probably going the unicorn lashes. I have no idea what these shape. These are just as Insta Famous, just as unicorn lashes. Probably just going a mascara in the lash line, Maybelline Sky High. So yeah. So guys, here is the completed blue eyeshadow halo look using the popcorn palette. And yeah, I haven't. Even though I've used this popcorn palette a couple of times, I haven't done a look like this before. It's a nice change, and hopefully you can see those glitters still i really should have put glitter glue on but hey ho um yeah it's all over my face cool <laughs> but yeah i hope this video has inspired you how to use the popcorn palette what color combinations do you enjoy using out of this palette um and also give me some ideas there's so many ways to wear this palette like you could do a purple look you could do a blue look you could do a gold smoky brown look you could even do like a khaki green look with this khaki green down there those two shades together would look so nice. I love this popping shade. I think I prefer this popping shade over the snack shade. If you did enjoy it, of course, do give it a thumbs up. It sure helps my channel out. And if you don't want to miss out on my next makeup vids, I do a lot of dipping into these palettes. And make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out. And yeah, I'm going to leave it there today. Hope you have a lovely day. Now, every time watching this, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.